vision. We are an unusual couple. We don't have a song or even wedding rings. Well, we could rather do that. WandaVision just released on Disney's streaming service, Disney Plus, and is getting a lot of polarizing reactions. Viewers have called it strange, confusing, nothing like the Avengers films, boring, and I've read a tweet of someone calling it straight trash. While I would definitely disagree with the last statement, I'm sure we could all admit that after watching the first minutes of episode 1, it is clear that not everything is as it seems. Being how WandaVision is the MCU's first television venture of their cinematic universe, it's quite fitting to see the 9 episode series depicted in the style of a 1950s sitcom. We even get the 4 to 3 aspect ratio, which is a nice little touch. And if anyone remembers Avengers Infinity War, Vision not only dies once, but twice. So seeing how our two heroes now live together in this spacious, beautiful abode, you're probably wondering, wait a minute, when did Wanda and Vision get married? And when did they get a house in the burbs? And of course, how the f*** is Vision alive? So this is the part where the comic book story House of M comes into play, which Wanda and Vision takes some inspiration from. On episode 1, the French words Maison du Mépris are written on the wine bottle, which translates to House of Contempt, or House of Misery, literally House of M. So for those unfamiliar with the lore in the Marvel comics, House of M is a story in where the Scarlet Witch alters the fabric of reality by creating a new world where our favorite superheroes and supervillains are living out their dreams, all while both humans and mutants are living together in peace. You also find out that during these peaceful times, Wanda is actually suffering a mental breakdown due to her losing the children she had with Vision. The children, by the way, were conceived using magic. Funnily enough, Episode 2 of WandaVision has both our title characters perform a magic act in front of everybody at a local event that was for the children. It was so on the nose that there was literally a banner on top of the stage that said, Talent Show, for the children. And lo and behold, at the end of the episode, she was magically pregnant. So how is it possible for Wanda to get pregnant here because Vision is an android? Well, in the comics, Scarlet Witch is extraordinarily powerful to the point where she can alter reality to just about anything she wishes. So maybe in this case, Wanda could have just simply altered reality so she could have children. Remember that red infinity stone? The one that alters and controls reality? Well, Wanda is basically a living version of that stone. So yeah, Wanda is pretty powerful. So powerful, in fact, that they had to tone her down for the MCU. Remember that scene where Thanos commanded his ships to rain hell down the Avengers and his own men because Wanda was about to kill him with their magic? Not even the combined force of Cap, Thor, and Tony could do that to Thanos. And this is a nerf Scarlet Witch we're talking about. Like I mentioned in one of my past videos, Wanda is creating an alternate reality that she can live peacefully in. Everything is created in her head, and that includes Vision. She's trying so hard to convince herself that this alternate reality is real. And she even asks Vision at the end of the second episode, is this really happening? Vision even asks Wanda if she's not a little worried that the audience might see through this little charade. To where she responds, well, that's the point. In a real magic act, everything is fake. And that might include her now unborn children. Or maybe Wanda is trying to hint at us, the audience, that what we're seeing on TV isn't real. Kind of meta, now that I think about it. I'm going to go on a limb and say that Wanda, in some form or another, is going to give birth to the mutants in the MCU. Maybe not literally, like, through her womb or anything, but somehow with her magical powers, mutants will become part of the MCU due to her altering reality so much. In House of M, Wanda also says the iconic lines, No More Mutants, where she basically takes away the powers of 90% of the mutant population. So in the MCU, maybe she'll be doing something similar to an opposite effect, like a ton of people will be gaining powers instead of losing them, and maybe that's how mutants and the X-Men will be introduced in the MCU? Who knows? But yeah, the fact that Wanda could just merely say the words no more mutants and take away just about all the powers from every mutant in the universe kind of shows you how powerful she is. And lastly, let's talk about the colored helicopter in episode 2 and the beekeeper. For those unaware of what that sword emblem is, it's the logo to a fictional organization in the Marvel Universe called SWORD, an acronym in the comics that stands for Sentient World Observation and Response Department. It's basically SHIELD, but they handle stuff in space. But in the MCU, they changed the acronym to mean Sentient Weapon Observation Response Division, which simply implies that Wanda is a sentient weapon that needs to be observed. I mean, with her abilities, you would assume that there would be some kind of organization keeping tabs on her. And to why the helicopter is colored? Well, that just means that something from outside her reality somehow found its way in. And that also means the beekeeper somehow got in. But of course, Wanda with her overpowered abilities simply rewinded life like he never happened. 
Anyways, this show definitely has piqued my interest. I love the whole Twilight Zone vibes it gives off and I love seeing the kooky side of Wanda and Vision. I definitely can understand though why this is throwing a lot of people off, with some people even cringing of how corny the sitcom stuff is. I think we handled that well. But knowing what I know in the comics, I'm definitely anticipating how this unfolds. Especially with the fact that Doctor Strange played a part in the House of M backstory in the comics, he was there during the birth of her children, and the fact that Wanda is going to be playing a major role in the Doctor Strange sequel, The Multiverse of Madness, I can't wait to see all the build up leading up to the WandaVision finale. With that said, let me know what you think in the comment section below about all my theories and the tie-ins between WandaVision and the House of M. Do you guys think the mutants are going to be coming out of this? Let me know. Alright, take care guys.